Now there's a law in this world, almost everyone around the world, they know this, the things you shouldn't do if you find out that your partner cheated on you. You should never take them back no matter how many times they try to get back in your life because once a cheater, always a cheater. You should never go after them, beg for them to come back, give them another chance. You should never go for revenge and you know let it haunt you and just find out who the other guy is or the other girl is, confront them. You should never drink and get behind the wheels with your friends in the backseat. You're screaming, I loved her and putting your full uh, leg on a throttle. Do not cry and look weak in front of them. And obviously do not share the breakup on the internet. These are some basic important rules after you go through a breakup. You might not get it the first time, but you will. The second they cheat, they are dead to you. You get up, you move on with your life without ever looking back. But for today's video, this streamer decided to break all the laws. She went live streamed it the second she found out that she's being cheated on, her boyfriend cheated on. She decided to assault the the boyfriend she decided to uh take revenge on the boyfriend call up and confront the girl that the boyfriend cheated on basically took the whole law book put it on the ground fucking take a piss on it put a lighter fought on it put the whole textbook on fire with today's world when you get into live streaming when once you get too deep into it there's no more privacy in your life your viewers, your community should know every single thing that you do in your life because so they can be there for you and they will understand you through your good times and your bad times. Meet Elisa, Jordana and the boyfriend. I like to call him Boyle. He looks like Boyle from Broken 99, but his name is something else. Uh, one wants to call up. You shut the f up. Let me answer them. Okay, and fine. You literally, all of you, uh, add up your cumulative wealth uh, and intelligence, idiots. And think to yourself, I ask this all the time. You ever been top 10 in anything in your dumb lives? Mine is 10 with 16 zeros, pleb. So you think you're not impressive? I have news for you, you're not impressive. I'm yeah. impressed. Look at you, you look very confused right now about what the hell just happened. What did I just witness? To give you a little bit of context, backstory about this, she is a streamer, live streamer slash YouTuber in her live stream. She is a sort of an entertainer slash piggy simp. There's a thing on live streams apparently i heard about a couple of times but they're called simps where she will go on live streams and she will discipline all the simps out there and everyone there are grown-ass men sending donations and talking to her and saying your majesty you are my queen i am your servant you can do anything you want to me i love you i love you so much mommy straight up grown-ass men embarrass themselves and their ancestors from generations before from the heavens watching them seeing these donkeys embarrassing the whole uh, family name and all she does is good boy Thank you for the donation. Good boy. Bad boy. Why you only send me $5,000? Send me $10,000. And the boyfriend is apparently cool with her being the majesty mommy of the internet. And the boyfriend, he's claiming to be a billionaire as well. But the boyfriend, this is her and this is her viewers. Okay. I'm impressive. Okay. I'm 10 with 16 zeros. Okay. What are you? Not that. Right. What are you? Now, there's one question going through your head right now. How can this guy, how come Boyle from Broken 99 bag a hot chick like this? Ding, ding, ding. You're right. He has money. And the rumors are going around where he paid her a million dollars to be in a relationship with him. They're in a normal, serious relationship where there's nothing normal about this. She's getting paid to be with him. They're in an open relationship kind of ish and then he goes on and cheats on her with another girl and then somehow it is not okay and she's upset about the situation uh, this is her youtube channel the title of the video not doing good because she needs to share this with the followers you know so they will sympathize with her and they'll be like oh my god we should be here to support her You know, obviously she she's going through a very hard time right now, but she needs to make sure the mirror and her face looks very good. And uh, his birthday together, so he's been lying this whole time to me completely. This is a horrible guy. This is a horrible guy. And he lied, and he's told her, like he told her, I'm just like a streamer. It was just an investment, and like the whole time he was talking to me, he was talking to her the whole time. The whole time, and I saw everything that he said to her. It's all the same shit he said to me, and he's just—he's uh, just like a bad guy. He's not like the type of guy that's like a faithful. But he liked them, me the most. He was like cheating on me with her, with this like 20, 20 fucking twenty-year-old like 
like a whore, like whore that that sends videos and shit and, and like you know I knew I knew he was that. <laughs> I will never in my life understand someone who's crying and filming themselves. <laughs> I will never trust these people because this is exactly how it goes. You, you're you literally putting the camera in front of you. First, you got to be like, you know, pinch yourself or like <laughs> as if you're taking a shit, but you're actually forcing yourself to cry so bad. And then you put the tripod, you're like, <gasps> yes. And just go on a hectic route of, I can't believe this happened to me. And then you look at yourself, you make sure you look good, you know, before even you started and midway as well, you're like, mm, no, this doesn't look good. Nope, let me start again. <laughs> Guys! I will never understand people sharing every single detail of their life, especially like sitting and crying in front of the camera, talking about a sensitive topic that they went through i mean yeah it gets a lot of views because this is your creator that you watch and you don't know what the fuck happened and you want to watch them more especially when they share like specific details of their daily life these vloggers and all i mean maybe this is the way to go but if i want to do this literally if i want to tell you every single thing that happened in my life literally this is how the video is going to go we're back at it with another video but for today's topic before we start i want to say i just took the nastiest juiciest shit i've ever took in my life the smell was so bad i almost fainted inside the toilet it was something out of this world and some would even call it atomic i shit so much that the whole the water was gone on the toilet everything was piled up against each other and i when i had to flush it i had to flush like three times until my shit goes this will be the daily information that i share with you yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna share with you. <laughs> I wanna read you this. I wanna read you this. I wanna read you this one day. Now, I can confidently say that was the worst, fakest laugh I have ever heard in my life. I can literally do a better fake laugh than that. And she, she put no effort into it. Literally, Travis Scott's apology video after his concert incident. That was better than this one. I'm just attached to him because I'm like afraid I'm gonna, not gonna meet anybody else, you know? No, no, no. <laughs> I just don't think I'm gonna meet anybody else. I'm just attached, I got attached. She's afraid she's not gonna meet anyone else because she's attached to this guy. I'm 100% sure she's attached to him and not his wallet. 1000% sure. You gotta make sure you look good in the camera. Okay, we're good. I apologize, you have to go through that. Anyways, let's let's just skip this part. She found out, she gives an explanation of how, you know, she found out all the chats between the girl and her boyfriend. And the stream just gets funnier and funnier. She invites her community, all the simps, to comfort her and give her the attention. Yes, hello? Yeah, Alita. What? <laughs> Why are you so upset? Because I am like so sad that like someone lied to me like this. <laughs> yeah, you, you, did you really want a future with him? I don't know. I was just, I just, it really hurts like all that time that I was so sad and like ill, like health wise. Yeah, it, but you could find, you could find a guy a <laughs> hundred times better. That is 100% true because bro looks like my left hairy nut stack. But the question is, can you find someone as rich as him? Because that is the main goal here. And to be fair, someone, she's she's pretty attractive. Maybe not her personality, but like looks, she's pretty attractive. And for someone like him, you know, her giving him a chance, and someone like him cheating on her, that hurts her in deep deep levels <laughs> so the ego is out of the roof and she's sitting and crying in the car while she's driving and she's like all my simps in my community make me feel good better make me feel better we know we need to be all in the same mood right now and thank you for the donation <laughs> i don't know why i think this is how uh youtubers and streamers they cry <laughs> thank you for the thank you for the five dollars michael <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the important parts in the story where she just you know the, his wallet is with her for some reason and here she is flashing his id in front of everyone 
doxing him because i believe the id is in the united states the address is next to it even though now having the full name of the guy having all this information is pretty illegal the girl he cheated on apparently was like pretty young and you know they were sexting and they were sending uh inappropriate pictures to each other and she had access to the things i don't know how she got it i don't know what her source was but she had access to those and she threatened to share all the information about the girl share all her nudes all over the internet just threatening these things and that is 100 percent illegal now the stream goes on and this is the part where she meets the boyfriend and the police are here too you said you were gonna come but you didn't come where come on the Frank said you were going to come back to the... FYI, February... I called Sarah, you fucking bitch. I'm going to fucking kill you. No, no, no. Me. Kill Febr you. Sorry, sorry, February sorry. February was when you were with Sparta. No, you, you, were, you, were, with Sparta. you were... I, I got... You were, my Discord. Black Eye donated. I've been reporting that thousands of people in all ages are staring in the sky in frozen mode. <laughs> it just comes out of nowhere. Okay, okay. I, I'm just talking to him. Do you want to go to jail? Not really, no. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. So the police officer warned her that if you lay a hand on him, you're going to go to jail. This is not okay. You cannot do any of this no matter what he did. You are not allowed to assault him by law. Fast forward to this viral clip that we all saw on the internet. This is the part they both got in the car. And here she is going to call Sarah, the, you know, the girl he cheated on and confront her. Hi, Sarah. How are you? How are you, Sarah? I didn't different sentences that he Sarah, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't talk. Don't fucking talk. Idiot. Uh yes, yeah, sir, we're really sorry about this and sending him your way today. Fucking uh so don't worry. Um but yeah, so yeah, he's coming. Don't worry, he's coming home. Uh Alicia. She's just like almost broke my nose. She's gonna get the No no, you're fine, you're fine. Fuck. Um next time you can touch me I'll fuck you. You understand? Hey, no, Sarah, um, hang up. Uh, yeah, touch me and I'll dick you. Alisa? Yes? Same person. She's a, she's a yes, Sarah, I heard you had a kid when you were 16. That's what he told me about you. Yes, and you said you're a dumb Mexican. I said she's and a dumb Mexican. And he said you keep showing up. And he says you won't stop texting him. But I saw what? the text. It's the same shit. She goes on a rampage and starts roasting the shit out of her and claiming that he said all these things about her now the next part i cannot show you but i can just explain it to you what happens basically he grabs her by the hair and moves her like a towel like a clothes left and right wiggles it around like a cartoon character you know smashes her left and right and kicks her out of the car and everything was captured in the video and this is where the internet came forward because they only saw this clip they did it they didn't have any context everyone was like oh he is defending himself good for him she deserves it but honestly both of them are just idiots her live streaming the whole thing so five dollars and him laying the hands on her in this situation you should, why is he in the car you should just pick your shit up and leave you cheated you you seem like you don't want her back as well you just want to you know just dip get a cap get an uber since you're a billionaire he stuck around even though he knew that she was in a fighting mode in a karate mode but no matter the situation you should never like raise your hand on each other but unfortunately these things happen a lot of people lose their cool and obviously after that video went mega viral the police looked into it and this you know the second uh miss piggy bank mommy she smacked the guy with her palm the police saw that and they charged her with assault and this is her thing she got charged with battery touch or strike so she got booked and there's still no information about what happened to the guy and what happened to her i'm assuming she's still in jail maybe she's gonna have a court uh, thing coming up but this was a result of bad decisions and just two manipulative gaslighting toxic people in a relationship so what did we learn from this video follow the law of getting cheated on you follow it you'll be good to go you won't have any issues in your life you keep your head up and you move on with your life if you're still eating your food you still haven't finished it while watching this video we got two more videos over here let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this video but take care of yourself and i will see you at the next one